So here you can hear the shushing. The hissing problem we've been talking about. And this is the new cable that I just got in the mail today. It looks identical to the old cable that they sent me except for one major thing. It's got this called a uh, fuse and filter box. Now I open this up and inside of here is a board. Now the board is secured in there so I can't really remove it to show you guys. But we have a couple of chips. These are APA 2068. Um, 2065 we got a MOSFET and a couple of really big uh, line capacitors and a small pot here so I'm guessing this was uh, was changed up it looks like it looks like it's basically a capacitor filter because all these lines are what run through uh, for the sound these are all sound lines um, for the audio these are the different channels white gray green and purple uh, and as well as blue which is just feeding 12 volts to this so some sort of filtration thing. Um, basically right now I'm going to swap this out and see if this hissing goes away. So I got the new harness in and unfortunately it doesn't look like it solved the problem. So check this out. You can still hear there's a pretty strong hissing noise in the back. I've also changed the amplifier down to 25% uh, in the factory settings. Um, as well as uh, messed around with some of the other volume levels, thinking maybe I can clean it up a little bit more. But it doesn't look like it's uh, it's really gonna gonna change much anyway. So it seems like maybe it's not a. What they did was they basically put on uh, some fil uh, filters in line with the wire harness, and it looks like it's not a uh, a filtration issue as much as it is having to do with the actual hardware. Uh, here in the uh, in the head unit Okay, so at this point uh, Enon's next solution was to send me a custom firmware So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into um, Into settings and look at the factory settings and they told me to take a picture of them um, to make sure that We can duplicate them after the reset is done So I'm gonna just grab my celly and told me to take a picture of the settings so so now that we have that done we're supposed to go I believe into factory no uh, extra settings no what was it about tablet maybe system updates yeah update package was found would you like to and said wipe data and format flash so install and they said this can take anywhere from three to four minutes, so we're just going to let it go. And you want to make sure the car is running because you need to have a stable uh, power supply during this process. Looks like we're back to where we started from. That's really annoying. I hope that's fixable. Um, Bluetooth. Looks like we're going to have to repair devices. So let's go back into factory settings and make sure we haven't lost anything.
Yeah, so everything is okay, so let's go back here. So, seems like you can still hear it, because... It's almost worse than it was. Don't think that. 